Hello. Today I want to discuss about a geometry problem that appeared in Inma 2019. We'll solve this using trigonometry, like our usual sine, cosine rules and known trigonometric identities. As there are a lot of hard geometry problems, Olympic geometry problems that can be easily solved using trigonometry, like commonly known as trig bash. And this is a very important thing. So it is a good example of it. And this will give a general idea to how to solve this type of geometry problems using trigonometry. So the problem says ABC is a triangle with angle A is greater than 90 degree. D is a point on line segment BC such that E is a point on the line AD and AD is tangent to the circumcircle of triangle ACD at E. And B is perpendicular to AD. AC is same as CD. A equal to C. I have to find the angle C. So let's begin. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. The key idea to solve this problem is to first we have in any trigonometrical problem that like in any geometry problem where we apply trigonometry we have to first do some angle chasing to get the relations between angles in the triangles because if you want to do some trigonometry you have to apply trigonometric functions on angles so I have to first explore the, the geometrical thing and I have to do some angle chasing to find the angles first then I can apply the sine cosine rules. So I have to here find angle C. So I assume that angle C equal to 2 theta. And I find the other other angles in terms of theta. Now why 2 theta instead of theta? It's just because see there are angles that become 90 minus theta, 90 minus 3 theta. Like if I say C equal to theta instead of 2 theta, then those angles should be 90 minus theta by 2, 90 minus 3 theta by 2. Like fractional angles can include and that should look bad. So to avoid that i am just using 2 theta like there is no other use so as these two side lengths are equal like these two angles are equal and this is 2 theta so you can easily find these two angles like angle dsc and angle adc both are 90 minus theta now ab is tangent to the circumcircle so by or alternate segment theorem angle ba is same as angle acd so both are 2 theta now from there we get angle A and angle C in triangle ABC. So from that we can easily get triangle B and that is 90 minus 3 theta. We can also easily find that angle AEC to be 2 theta. Using this we just begin our tri trigonometrical problem. Now we can also observe another thing that makes our life a lot easier. The triangle ADC and triangle AC have all angles same. So these two triangles are similar. So triangle ADC is similar to triangle AEC and similar triangles have same side length ratios. From that what can we say? AE by AC is same as AC by AD. Okay, we will denote side length ratios by their usual like common well known names like side length AC by small letter B, this by A and this by C. So we have b square equal to a times a d. Now to find the angle theta, I have to express a e and a d in terms of side lengths a b c and the trigonometrical functions of theta. For I have to express a e and a d individually in those terms. How can we find a e? See, in triangle a b, this angle is 90 degree. So what is A? It is just AB times cos 2 theta. Like AB times cos of angle BAE. So A equal to AB cos 2 theta. A equal to AB cos 2 theta. That is C cos 2 theta. And what is AD? We can use sine rule on this triangle like triangle ADC to find that. Now I have to express AD in terms of ABC. 
so and silent ac is missile involved with it so ad by sin 2 theta this is same as ac by sin 90 minus theta Now AC is my B, so this is B by cos theta. So AD is B sin 2 theta by cos theta. Now we can divide by cos theta because it is not 0, because my theta can never be 90 degree. See if theta is 90 degree, then angle C is 2 theta and that is 180 degree. So angle C 180 degree makes my triangle ABC degenerate. That is not the case. So we don't have to worry about that. Now sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. So I can cancel out cos theta. So this is just 2b sin theta. As I have find out, found out the side length ratios, now I can substitute it in this equation. So let's see. b square equal to ae times ad. So b square equal to 2b times sin theta into ae. A is my c times cos 2 theta now i can easily cancel out one b and this gives me a very simpler relation that is b is uh, 2c sin theta cos 2 theta now i have all why we use side length functions because we can use directly like why we use the side lengths abc we can directly use the sin rule on triangle abc like a equal to 2r sin a b equal to 2r sin b whereas r is circumradius of triangle abc c is 2r sin c. this is important now we'll substitute b and c by this what is what is angle b and c angle b is 90 minus theta angle c is 2 theta so sine of 90 minus 3 theta that is cos 3 theta so this is cos 3 theta and this is 2r as usual sine 2 theta so substituting this what we get 2r cos 3 theta equal to 2c sine theta 2c so 4r sine theta sin 2 theta cos 2 theta okay we can cancel out r and 1 2 also so we get cos 3 theta equal to sin theta into 2 sin 2 theta into cos 2 theta and we know from elementary trigonometry that this is just sin 4 theta. So we get a more simple relation that cos 3 theta equal to sin 4 theta sin 3 theta. Sorry, sin 4 theta sin theta. Now we can express this in this form cos of 4 theta minus theta, and we can express this as compound angle like as samples like compound angle formula that is cos of a minus b equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so this is cos 4 theta cos theta plus sin 4 theta sin theta and this is equal to sin 4 theta sin theta so these are cancelled out and we get a useful thing that is cos 4 theta and cos theta is 0 now cos theta is not 0 we know that because theta is not 90 degree this is not 0 so we get cos 4 theta is 0 that is 4 theta is 90 degree and so implies my angle c is 2 theta and that is just 4 theta by 2 45 degree and this is my answer and this end the solution we are done chinta programs 
are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics. And they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.